Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 1748. Be adored, O God, in the work of your mercy. Be blessed by all faithful hearts on whom your gaze rests in whom dwells your immortal life. O my Jesus, have mercy. Sorrowful was your life on this earth, and in terrible torment your work came to an end, hanging stretched out on the wood of the cross, and all this for the love of our souls. In your inconceivable love you allowed your most holy side to be opened, and streams of blood and water gushed forth from your heart. Here is the living fountain of your mercy. Here souls receive consolation and refreshment. In the blessed sacrament you left us your mercy. Your love deigned to arrange it so, that, going through life, suffering and toil, I might never doubt of your goodness and mercy." For even if the whole world's miseries weighed on my soul, we must not doubt for even a moment, but have trust in the power of God's mercy, because with graciousness God receives a contrite soul. O unspeakable mercy of our Lord, source of compassion and of all sweetness, trust, trust, O soul, though you are stained by sin. For when you approach God, you will not taste bitterness, because he is a living fire of great love. When we approach him with sincerity, our miseries, sins, and evil deeds vanish. He will settle our debts when we surrender ourselves to him. God's infinite goodness in adorning the whole world with beauty in order to make man's stay on earth pleasant. O God, how generously your mercy is spread everywhere, and you have done all this for man. O how much you must love him, since your love is so active on his behalf. O my Creator and Lord, I see on all sides the traces of your hand and the seal of of your mercy, which embraces all created things. O my most compassionate Creator, I want to give you worship on behalf of all creatures and all inanimate creation. I call on the whole universe to glorify your mercy. Oh, how great is your goodness, O God! Be adored, O our Creator and Lord, O universe, Humbly glorify your God. Thank your Creator to the best of your powers and praise God's incomprehensible mercy. Come, O earth, in all your fine greenery. Come, you too, O fathomless sea. Let your gratitude become a living song and sing the greatness of God's mercy. Come, beautiful, radiant sun, Come, bright dawn, which precedes it. Join in one hymn, and let your clear voices sing in one accord God's great mercy. Come, hills and valleys, sighing woods and thickets. Come, lovely flowers of morning's tide. Let your unique scent adore and glorify God's mercy. Come, all you lovely things of earth, which man does not cease to wonder at. Come, adore God in your harmony, glorifying God's inconceivable mercy. Come, indelible beauty of all the earth, and with great humility adore your Creator. For all things are locked in His mercy. With one mighty voice all things cry out, How great is the mercy of God! But above all these beauties, a more pleasing praise to God is the soul 
innocent and filled with childlike trust, which, through grace, is closely bound to him. O Jesus, concealed in the blessed sacrament of the altar, my only love and mercy, I commend to you all the needs of my body and soul. You can help me because you are mercy itself. In you lies all my hope. In the original, there follows a completely blank page. Faustina here continues her reflection on the gift of the redemption as a reflection of God's goodness. She reflects on how difficult Jesus' life on earth was, especially his suffering and death on the cross. He did this because he loves us so. The blood and water which flowed from his side are the streams of mercy. Here we can be consoled and refreshed. She also reflects on the gift of the Eucharist where we can find Christ's mercy. No matter what we have to endure in this life, we should trust in God's mercy. He will never reject us if we ask for forgiveness. She encourages us to trust in his mercy, which will not fail us. She then reflects on how the beauty of the world is a reflection of God's goodness. God created this world beautiful for us because he loves us. He didn't have to, but he did, and he did it out of love. Faustina calls on the whole universe to glorify God's mercy. The traces of his love are everywhere. She calls on the earth and the sea to sing to God's mercy, the sun, the dawn, the hills and valleys, the flowers, their beauty, their scent. Just by being, they reflect God's goodness because he created them. He gave them the gift of life. Uh, this is also a foretaste of heaven where I'm sure the beauty will be far greater than anything we can uh, appreciate and see here on earth. She says that most pleasing praise of God comes from a soul that is innocent and filled with childlike trust. A flower can't change what it is, but we can become a more beautiful creature if we do God's will and if we grow in holiness. St. Faustina then commends all of her needs to Jesus, hidden in the Blessed Sacrament. He will take care of us as well, if we ask him. <laughs>